I really don't think uh, God uh, had golf in mind when he made us. A golf swing is an unnatural thing, and it has to be developed. I think uh, Sam Snead has a beautiful flowing swing, but it certainly isn't a natural one. He had to develop it. He had to practice it, just as anyone does. This is what we call, watch, this is what we call a flip. Watch, watch your hand, one. That's a flip, okay? This is what we call, this is what we call a hole. Two differences. Same results, two differences. Any good bunker players that were flippers? Hard to think. So, I mean, I, I, it's very difficult for me. I, I don't know of any. Well, the most important uh, thing in a golf swing to me is the movement of the lower body from the top of the swing. And if you don't mind, I'll demonstrate. First off, you start down below with your knees and your hips. At the top of the swing, you move the lower part of your body, not your shoulders, the lower part of your body, letting your arms and hands follow, bringing you into position to hit. But this is the first movement there. Then you release at the bottom. Most people do it entirely opposite. They rotate their shoulders first instead of their lower body. As a result, they come across the ball and hit the outside of the ball instead of the back of it. If you don't mind, I'll hit a ball, and the first thing to watch is, the, is what starts first from, from the top of the swing. That's the master move? Right here. First foot comes straight down. The, the club is going further behind my back on my downswing. This is pointing. Never this. It's always. It swings only three feet long from here to here. That's your business area in this game of golf. It's how you arrive here to here. Make sure you arrive there the way, you, the way you're supposed to, right? Here's the master move. A feeling of greatness. I'm the only golfer in the world who's got the feeling of greatness. The only one living. Feeling of greatness. Right here. Oh, is that pure? What you want to do is hold on with the last three fingers very firm and come down into the hitting area. Let me show you. Don't forget, if you're hitting that ball fat, Put a lot of pressure on these last three fingers. In other words, the only way that you can get under a golf ball is you have to hit down on a golf ball. You never hit up on a ball, you hit down on it. You compress it into the ground. In other words, and it's almost that the left wrist is almost broken here when you hit it. It's this way. What happens when you compress a golf ball in the ground? It goes up the club face. When you flip a wedge or any club here, the ball is only going to utilize the bottom two grooves. It's never going to use the top ones. So I, I learned a long time ago, but that again, that was from playing on hard pain. Clutch your sides with your elbows and visualize your elbows being attached to your body and your arms instead of at your shoulders. And just start moving your body from right to left, around in a circle, holding your elbows in your side, right in your side. Now, we can't go around a golf course doing this all day, so we must lengthen this swing somewhere or other. You see, this is an absolutely full swing. Isn't that simple? Anyone can do that. <laughs> 